Hi friends, I hope you all are doing great. It's me, Nikki here, and we got a new vanity in our powder room, and I'm excited to share the organization with you, so let's get started. <music> Okay, friends, so you may have remembered in our powder room, there was a pedestal sink. And of course, you know, that means no storage. And so Mike and I knew that we wanted to put a cabinet in here. And then a week before last, I believe it is, Lowe's had a great 40% off um, sale on their vanity. So we jumped on it and we really like the one that we chose. And it kind of coordinates with the one we replaced in the upstairs guest bathroom you may re remember from um, a few years back. And so the first thing I want to do is get in and organize it. But first I'm going to give it a nice cleaning. You know, Mike still has some little tidbits that um, he needs to do to kind of lock it in. But it's, you know, it's in, but just some finishing touches um, with the edges and things but it's ready for me to clean and organize and get set up so that we have a powder room that functions beautifully downstairs and so I basically want to just give it that nice clean and then I'm going to organize down below now on the cleaning note, you all know I love using a soft bristle toothbrush to help clean around my bathroom sinks. But one thing I have upgraded to lately is an electric toothbrush, an inexpensive one, one that you just pl plug a battery in, you don't have to worry about attachments or anything, but it just gives me, I feel like that little extra, just effort, less of effort when I am cleaning around my sink and especially when I'm trying to clean up in the spout. Now I am using the Laundress Mirror and Glass Cleaner uh, to clean around the faucets and the mirrors and things like that. I will say that I love Laundress cleaning products. It is a bit pricier. So one tip that I, I do use, I do that I'm using here is I'm using this product in this bathroom because I do like the product, but I don't want to have to use it and pay all that money to clean my whole house. If this can be the special product that I use in my bathroom. So I will have that here. Another thing that I found was this gorgeous acrylic napkin holder on Amazon and I'll link it below. But this is perfect to hold the disposable napkins so that guests can dry their hands when they're done washing their hands. Of course, I don't have any guests nowadays or, you know, right now. But once we're at a point where we can have family and friends back over, this is going to work out perfectly. And then I also have ordered in bulk the napkins and I'll put them below also because they feel great. I have my little soap dispenser here that I got from Target. This is kind of the similar one I had here when I had the pedestal sink too, but I did get the smaller version. I just think it's cuter so now let's move down to the cabinet now I have these baskets here you might remember they used to be in my closet and then I was passing them on to Mike and see if he could use them in the garage for his things but then I was like you know what these will be perfect for under the bathroom sink they're in that metal that is the same um, tone as the handles and hardware in the bathroom and I love that they I had them in a variety of sizes I had them in this half size and then I had two that were um, kind of do double the size of this so I I said this is perfect for at organizing all the things that I need in here. Now, because this is the powder room, I just want to keep it very basic. I want the essentials. I want, if a guest is in here and they, they open it, they can really see any and everything that they may need, but it's not too much and not um, uh, too, not less, you know, just the right, just the right amount. So I'm going to use this basket to create my different categories. So one for toilet paper, one for cleaning supplies, you know, uh, one for the napkins. Now they fit the toilet paper perfectly, but the only fit two, and I would really love to keep at least four. That way I don't have to worry about refilling often, but I love that they can stack. So I can put two more on top or I can get a second basket and I can just put it with it and that would hold the four. Because sometimes you'll find an organizational solution such as a basket or a bin and it's not quite the right size, but then you can double up and it would be the right size. So say you really wanted a square bin, Put two half squares together or ha have quarter bins together and you have your, you know, your technically your square bin. So that's basically what I did here. So the other thing that I know that I need to store under here are the napkins, a good supply of the napkins for guests to dry their hands on. Again, I got these in bulk on Amazon. And again, I'll link those below, but I knew, again, I wanted to kind of do the same concept of doubling up on the baskets. Two of those half baskets um, would be for that. So 
So I'm just playing around to see what is the best configuration for um, under the sink. Again, whenever you're organizing under your kitchen sink or bathroom sink, you gotta be a little creative because those pipes will always try to give you a little hiccup, but you can always, there's always a workaround. I also wanna keep my trash bags and disposable gloves in here. Disposable gloves are for when we're cleaning like the toilets and things like that. I always like to put on gloves uh, for sanitary reasons. And then of course I have the garbage bags in there also. So as I'm playing around, I know that I still need to put in here my cleaning supplies and I also want to have a space for um, hand, hand soap because I am going to order, I haven't done it yet, but I'm going to order the laundress hand soap so that this is kind of my laundress cabinet in the powder room. And the great thing about having those spaces that are really not high use all the times, so you can you can really, you know, splurge a little bit on those spaces and that's what I wanna do here. And I wanna just have it really kind of just a nice powder room. Everything is in here for me to clean it for guests and it's very simplified but efficient. So in this caddy here, it's going to be for cleaning supplies and in the powder room like I said I'm only going to put laundress because that's going to be kind of my specialty products that I love that are going to be in here I'm not sponsored by laundress by the way but I think it's just fun switching up um, I usually use like Caldrea and Mrs. Myers and things in other parts of the house and so this will be a nice touch now I do use laundress typically in my office so my office in here is where I would have my laundress products I am going to go and order their hand soaps though I don't have those because I want to keep some hand soaps supply hand soaps down here so here is all of the cleaning supplies along with some sponges and I'll probably throw some extra sponges in back there and then I put in the trash bags and the gloves of course I like having the gloves to clean the toilets and then the trash bags self-explanatory and then this final basket will be loaded up with my hand soaps which I need to order and I'll put them all right there in that basket and so this is the final arrangement friends and again I had to play around with the baskets to get the get it the way I want it but now I feel like when I open this cabinet it has just what this small powder room needs come here I can easily refill I can easily clean and I can see what I have and I think that I'm happy with it it's all just very simplified just a nice and clean and I think that it is making me happy to have another cabinet in here or not another just one because that I tell you that pedestal sink it's nice but it's not functional it's just not for when you have only not when you only have a bathroom downstairs so I want to share one more thing before I go this I found on Amazon also and I love it it is a small trash trash bin for your bathroom but you see how it the the I guess it's the cover is overlaid, so it allows you to put your bag into the trash can and then put the cover back on. But what I love about it is you ever, you know, put a bag in your, your bathroom, your small bathroom uh, bin, and you have to tie it around or the plastic's hanging over, and it's just not a beautiful look. Well, what I love about this is because you put the bag in and then you slide it right over, it really keeps it clean and it just looks neat. When, you know, they throw things in, it's not pulling the bag down. so. It's just really a nice way to have a trash bin in your bathroom. So friends, I hope you have enjoyed me as I had my little project today of setting up my powder room cabinet. It was a fun little project to get done around my house today. And I was so happy to be able to film it and share it with you also. I'm really trying to get better about when I do my little projects here and there, which I'm always doing something, is to share it with you and kind of have you, my friends, uh, right by my side as I am doing it. So I hope you all are doing great. I hope to see you at the next video. Have a beautiful day, my friends. And this is Nikki saying goodbye.